CV-19 Self-Defense is a research project funded by Florida State University. The objectives of the project are twofold. First, it is an educational tool that provides mobile phone users with the real-time information from healthcare authorities, as well as access to nearby test centers. Second, the tool can assist users in assessing symptoms based on CDC guidelines, providing social distancing alerts, and managing self-quarantine status. The social distance nudge will remind users if someone comes too close, within six feet. Quarantine status gives users a tool to manage safe locations as well as points of reference during the quarantine period. Now, let's take a tour of the CV-19 Self-Defense mobile app. First, the user creates an account so they can manage personal health information. A registered user can quickly log into the app and the first view is a user's personal dashboard. Users can uninstall the app at any time and the associated usage data will be removed from the phone as well as from the server. There are five features provided in this app. The first is latest news updates. Users are provided with RSS feeds from the World Health Organization, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, and the US Department of Health and Human Services. You can click to get into each website for the articles. The second feature allows the user to find a nearby test center based on your current location. The users can view detailed information from the list of available test centers. The third feature is the assessment of symptoms based on CDC guidelines. Users can add and maintain their own health assessment, keeping a diary of their symptoms when necessary. Moreover, the user can view a graphical summary of all recorded symptoms from all past assessments. Of course, users can also update their account information at any time. The fourth feature of this app is the social distance nudge. Users can turn on an automated device scan to receive social distance nudges. Should an unexpected person be close, the app will vibrate to nudge the user to move away. The social distance nudge will run in the background. Once this function is turned on by the user, the user will get a notification on the phone if someone comes within six feet. Blind users can manually scan their surroundings to discover others that are within six feet. The scan results can be saved to produce a scan history to review all the scan devices for purposes of contact tracing. Users can also rename known devices globally so that they can know and identify safe contacts they've been hanging out with within six feet. Users can choose to include specific others such as family and friends as part of a safety pod.
The app assists users in maintaining self-quarantine when necessary. The initial quarantine status is not activated until users choose to begin the quarantine. Users can activate the quarantine status, and the countdown timer will start to provide real-time feedback. One important function of my quarantine status is the ability to set a user's home location. Users can choose to set multiple safe home locations, which provides flexibility in determining safe living boundaries. Once the quarantine period is over, the tracking status will be reset to inactive and generate a report on the user's quarantine status summary. This may be useful in determining pre-existing conditions for insurance purposes. Users' privacy and data confidentiality are important to us. For users that register on iSensor website, we store the personal information they provide in the user profile. All users can see, edit, or delete their personal information at any time. The iSensor Lab website is securely loaded, located and administered by the FSU College of Communication and Information Technical Support Team. All transactions and access are encrypted and password protected. Users' cell phone data, including RSSI signals and geo coordinates, are stored on each user's phone. This data will not be accessed or be used by the website administrator or researchers of the study. We hope this tool can help the community manage their personal safe boundaries and defend against the coronavirus. We're stronger together as a community. This app is free and downloadable at iSensorAnalytics.com.